different top takes of techno. Mine is towards industrial, industrial techno. But I do like some of the dark stuff from the likes of Rose, s and Abdullah Hashim. It's a lot of like pads, a lot of pads, low melodies, which are dark, a lot of distortion and everything. And it really, when I'm listening to it, it really breaks up a set. Like I'll play an industrial for more set, so it's all hard hitting. I want to concentrate more on the dark side. It's a lot of melodies and like some pads, quite dark. The process I was taught, take every track you do within your track or your song, concentrate on the first bit, especially techno, your kick is your signature. The kick is going to be the one that smashes through. And so I take my time with the kick. Uh, just taking care, saying if it's EQ properly, see if there's enough reverb because it's especially if it's powerful, you want loads of power uh, just to see if it reflects on everything. And then when I got the kick sorted, then I'd have bass sort on the bass line and the likes and, and see if there's a lot, if there's momentum in there because especially in the music I'm producing, it has to have momentum. I'm always learning, taking step by step really, take, make, make it slow, make it, try and make it perfect every time. There's a lot of influences at the moment regarding new artists coming into the techno scene. Seeing some of the artists like you got Edit Select based in Scotland, then you got Abdul Hashim in Sweden and Acronym, and they're all in their early 20s. And it's, when, I was, I'm, when I'm witnessing this, I'm seeing there is, I hope it gives me a breath of fresh air. I'm seeing the youngsters getting their chance and they're doing something about it and they're really and they're really going about it so professionally and the sounds and their performance is unbelievable. And it just gives me like a lot of hope that techno has got many more years to come. The Birmingham techno scene's always had its large heritage with the likes of Tommy Jam, House of God. Uh, some great artists playing there, especially associated with it. Like you've got the likes of Surgeon with House of God and Blower, um, and then you had the likes of Regis and Dave Clark, and you yeah, had the likes of like, Richie Horton playing Birmingham as well under these events. Uh, so when it comes to the heritage, Birmingham's techno heritage is strong. Like it's had for many years, it's been for around about over two decades now. Uh, but it's slowed, the techno scene in the city has slowed down a bit. But seeing other events at this moment in time, like Choose Techno, and they, ram, they rammed out Spotlight and Mama Rouge, and I was, I'm very proud for the guys because it's showing that they're putting the effort in and they're trying to improve Bones techno scene or try and get it to where it was. And I've got as much time for someone like that as as possible really. Coden is a project that me and Vasily Carlson got in got from the influences we've been to other parties we've either played or been invited to. So we've put in more regarding visuals, try and make it as dark as possible, very very left field shall we say. Uh, we got getting in contact with art students or even art professional artists as well. Um, if they would like to um, exhibit their work, and it was, and it was great, like great. I loved the vibe, especially by the like, especially by the end. It was a great vibe, um, and we're just going to carry on from there and see how it goes from there. Hopefully, hopefully, it starts like all the other techno events within the city starts getting stronger.